everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Wow, that was a welcome break, but I do have to admit it's great to be finally back putting out new content in the new year. And I have a real special video for you for my first video of the year. And it's my Christmas gift that I received from my fiance Ellen. Now I've said this in countless videos, but I can only imagine how boring my collection would look if it wasn't for Ellen and some of the amazing gifts that she has gotten me over the years. And this one is no exception. So I'm going to be unboxing the Ultimish Saw collection. And as you can see, it's a trap edition. It comes in this beautiful, beautiful window box. So when Ellen told me that uh, she, was, she ordered this for me, as ecstatic as I was, I was also very, very, I was very worried. Because I seen horror unboxings on YouTube for this set. Where what was happening was the company Via Vision that brought this out, uh, they didn't staple down the trap. And what was happening was it was moving around in, uh, in postage and it was busting through this window. Now, not just busting through the window, but the trap itself was coming in pieces. I did not see one unboxing where someone didn't get some sort of damage to their addition. Thankfully, I think Fia Vision addressed it because there was a huge delay on them sending this out to us. So they obviously wanted to address that issue and uh, they must have because no problems whatsoever. Mine came absolutely damage free. Another thing that was concerning me as well, and I don't think Ellen was thinking about this when she actually ordered it for me, but was the customs charge. So we were waiting to see, because this set is expensive. It's very, very expensive. I still can't believe that Ellen actually got this for me. So we were just waiting for the customs charge to come through. And for some strange reason, Via Vision, uh, when they shipped this out to us and they put down the price of the package or the price of the goods, they put it down as 40 euro. So the customs charge was only around 8 euro. So all in all, it worked out perfectly in the end. Like I said, a damage-free addition and a very, very low customs charge. So thank you so much, my love, for giving this, for giving this to me uh, for Christmas. Uh, it's such a wonderful gift. It's one of the best editions you've ever bought, bought me. And that's saying a lot because uh, you've bought me some, so many special editions uh, over the years. And thank you so much, my love. I really do appreciate it. So uh, I'm going to unbox this, uh, unbox this for you very, very soon. But uh, the franchise itself, I'm a big fan of the Saw franchise to a certain extent. I like the original seven movies. You can clearly see that Darren Lynn Bosman had a plan set out. And I think he executed it quite well in the end. It had a very satisfying conclusion when you see the seventh movie. But unfortunately, because Saw is such a money maker and they're very, very cheap to make these movies, they were always going to come back and they came back with Jigsaw and then Spiral. I uh, didn't like either of them movies, if I'm completely honest. Uh, and I'm kind of hoping they just leave it alone. But apparently, uh, there's a rumor going around that they're getting, they're getting Tobin Bell back for the next Saw movie. I suppose that's one good thing is the fact that Tobin Bell is back. He plays Jigsaw so well and uh, he was missing m massively from the Spiral movie. Uh, it just didn't work out for me. I just did not like that movie. So, uh, right folks, let's not waste any time. There's a bit to get through in this set. So, uh, right, I'm going to open this up for you and I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go. The Saw Ultimate Collection. So I kind of hope you bear with me to start this video because uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass to try and get this set in frame. It's quite a big box set and it's quite dark as well. But I wanted to get it as close to the camera as I can just so I can show off the design. But I'm hoping that come, comes across in the camera. But as you can see, the box is kind of it's kind of done as like jigsaw pieces. I think you can make it out there. Yeah, you can see it there now. So I thought that was actually quite a clever design doing the whole kind of whole jigsaw pieces all through this entire box set. So as you can sort of see there as well is the actual trap itself. It's on a window box as well. And uh, this down here in the bottom is the actual drawer that actually holds all the discs. I, I will be showing you that very soon as well as the trap itself. I just wanted to take it around the, uh, the box set before I do so. So uh, yeah, that is just a close look anyway of the, uh, the front of the box itself. And I am a big fan of these window displays. It just means that I don't have to take the trap out. So uh, it's always great to see that. So, uh, right, that is the uh, side of the box set. So you got the Saw Ultimate Collection. Of course, you got your blue range uh, 4K logo there. And as you can see, the kind of jigsaw pattern is continuing to the side of that as well. So, right, that is the side. Then take us around to the back. And this is the, uh, yeah, it just gives you an idea of everything that's inside this set. 
It's a 13 disc set. You got three movies on 4K. The rest of them are on Blu-ray. And you also got a, a bonus disc as well. So I will remove uh, this card off. And uh, just show you the back artwork of it. So there you go. It's just basically a write-up of the, uh, the actual franchise itself. And just giving you an idea of everything that's actually inside the box itself. So uh, yep, yeah, that is the back artwork. And uh, then take us around to the spine of it. And much like the J card, it's just showing you all the movies that are on 4K. Then the rest of the movies on Blu-ray. And of course you got the Saw Ultimate Collection. And again, as you can see, that jigsaw pattern just carries the whole way through this entire set. So that is the actual box set itself. There is nothing on the bottom of it, I don't think. No. Nope. And then at the top, you have the Saw Ultimate Collection. So there we go. That is the actual box itself. So I'm going to just remove this lid off and give you a good look at the trap itself. And here we go. So before I take it out, I just want to show you just how nicely nestled it is inside the base of that, uh, the box. Uh, like I said at the start of this video, I've seen so many videos of this trap being absolutely destroyed. And uh, thank God nothing has happened to mine. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful display piece. So right, I'm going to take this out and give us a good close look at it. So here we go. So it's a resin piece. There is a lot of weight to it. It is. It's surprisingly heavy. And uh, it's very, very well made. It really, really is. Now, there is a German edition of this a trap out there as well. Now, whether this one is as good as the German one, I don't know. I was looking at uh, an unboxing of the German one there just recently. And the German one did maybe look a little bit more authentic than this one. They're not taking anything away from this because it's a stunning, stunning looking piece. The, the amount of attention to detail is uh, quite amazing and uh, I think they've done such a wonderful job on this piece and it's a great representation of the actual trap itself and uh, I love the color scheme on it as well it gives it has a bronze look but it also has a very aged look to it as well and as you can see there you got a couple of bolts uh, bolts there in the top and the bottom but it says when you do hold it up front it's just uh, it looks fantastic it really really does and uh, I'm so unbelievably fortunate uh, to have such an amazing piece in my collection. It's great. I've been wanting to get that German one for so long. And when I seen this one, uh, I rest assured, uh, well, it was nothing to do with me, but I was going to pick it up. But uh, thankfully, Ellen actually done it for me. So, uh, yeah, I'm very, very fortunate. I really, really am. So uh, there we go. That is the trap itself. So I'm going to just slot it into uh, the box set without any issue. So there you have it. That is the uh, the trap. So I'm going to open the drawer here uh, and just quickly show you the actual disc. So as you can see, it just comes out of the bottom here, like so. So let me put this box to a side. And uh, right, that's, there's a piece of foam here, just kind of protecting your discs. So uh, I just want to put that to a side. And right, uh, that is your discs. So uh, yeah, very well nestled in there as well. Absolutely no movement with it whatsoever. So uh, yeah, looks great. And uh, just quickly show you the actual draw itself. So uh, yeah, it's just the kind of bit more of that jigsaw pattern kind of going through the entire uh, draw itself. So there you have it, that is the actual draw. So let's remove the discs and let's get a good look at some of the uh, the artwork design on this, uh, on this uh, digi pack or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, I do like that. You know, you have the doll there, you kind of have his kind of, you can see it's a TV. So uh, yeah, it's a good, again, a good representation of the actual uh, franchise. So uh, yeah, digging on the artwork on that one. And this is the uh, the spine of it here, and it's quite a thick looking set. It needs to be because, like I said, there is 13 discs uh, in this edition. And then right around to the back, of course, you have I Want to Play a Game. So uh, nothing else there going on. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, yeah, it's kind of done like a, kind of like a book. It is, it's actually quite nice. So, uh, right, let's open this up. Now, I know people are not a fan of the way discs are housed like this, but I've never had any issues with any of the additions that I have that are done like this. So, uh, right, this is the first one. So this is the Saw, uh, the first Saw movie, sorry. And this is the 4K edition. So let me just take out the disc for you. And uh, I will put that to a side. And there we go. 
and then turn it around and this is the Saw movie on Blu-ray and uh, it's a nice uh, 4k transfer actually on this uh, Saw movie uh, it's not the best you'll ever see but it's actually yeah it's not a bad it's not a bad looking transfer considering the uh, the movie itself so uh, that is Saw and then that brings us on to Saw 2 and what's quite amazing is some of the special features there's so many features through this entire set you know when you consider that you actually get a bonus disc as well so uh, that is uh, the disc for Saw 2 so uh, yeah put that over here out of the way so that is the end of Saw 2 so then on to Saw 3 and I'm loving the kind of the three blades uh, I think that was quite cool and there's actually a quite a serious amount of features on this uh, the third one so uh, right let's take out the disc and that is your third disc so uh, much like the artwork on the actual yeah it's the exact same actually so right here we go saw four and a uh, close look at the again they're kind of looking at a lot of the traps and the props of saw four on the special features and then your fourth disc there we go now the one thing that has to be said though as well with these saw movies is actually some of the artwork on each movie uh, the artwork designs are actually beautiful, particularly the Saw 5 one, look at that. Uh, it just looks quite incredible. So uh, again, Saw 5 special features. And uh, they seem to be focusing a lot on the traps that you see in this movie. So uh, right, take a show you the fifth disc. So that is Saw 5. Uh, right, so I'll close this one over and on to Saw 6 we go. And uh, yeah, so again, great artwork design, uh, quite a lot of special features. Again, focusing on a lot of the traps as well, I think they are. Uh, and then that is the disc artwork for part six. So, right, put that to a side. And that makes us on to, gets us onto Saw 3D. And yes, the 3D disc is actually on this as well. You do have the 2D version as well. So uh, yeah, and the artwork is amazing. I was always a fan of the artwork for Saw 3D. And it was actually nice to get that artwork in this set. And that is the actual disc itself. So like I said, the 3D and the 2D is on that disc as well. Uh, this, so uh, yeah, so you're well covered when it comes to the Saw franchise uh, in this box set. Right, so here we go. Uh, we have Jigsaw and this is the 4K uh, edition of it. And uh, let me see if I can remove that disc for you and show it to you up close. So yeah, uh, it's actually a beautiful looking movie on 4K, it has to be said. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, it's definitely worth checking out. It's a native 4K disc and it looks, yeah, it looks stunning. And uh, that is the Blu-ray edition. And uh, the, the Blu-ray disc on this one is actually quite uh, boring. Uh, there we go, simple lust blue disc and uh, nothing to it at all. So, right, that is Jigsaw. Uh, and onto a spiral we go. And uh, I love the color scheme for this movie. It looks pretty cool. And uh, this is the 4K release of it as well. And that is your disc. Loving that green and black. And that lastly brings us on to the, this is the last of the last of the movies that is. And this is Spiral on Blu-ray. And much the same as the last disc on Blu-ray. Just a boring looking Blu-ray disc. And then the last thing I need to show is the bonus disc that you get. And that is all the special features that you get on it. And uh, like I said, there is an incredible amount of special features uh, through this entire set. When you consider all the features that you just get on the movies themselves, and then you look at all this as well, that's covering the entire franchise. And um, that is the actual disc for it. So uh, yes, you see, I've well covered when it comes to... Uh, uh, special features uh, in this set and this is the last of the pages and uh, it's just a bit more artwork uh, true uh, a bit more artwork uh, from the movies themselves sorry so there you have it folks that is the disc itself so I'm trying to bring the bring the draw back in and the slot this back in and uh, bring in that trap as well if I can and slide it back in for you and uh, yeah I can't tell you how happy I am with it. It's a, it really is a stunning piece. I can't praise it enough, and I feel so fortunate that I have it in my collection. So there you have it, folks. That is the Saw Ultimate Collection.
Right folks, so there you have it. That is the Ultimate Saw Collection. What amazing, amazing piece. It really, really is. Right, so that is my video folks and that is my first video of the year. And just before I go, I just wanted to thank every one of you for all these are incredible messages that you actually left on my last video. And uh, there were so, so many. And uh, it was a great way to kind of just it set me up for Christmas so beautifully. It really, really did. So many incredible messages. And uh, I tried to get through. I think I got through them all. I really do. I think I replied to all of them. But if I have missed any comments, I really do apologize. But what happens is with me over Christmas, I, I literally knock my phone off. Uh, I don't want to have any interruptions at all. And... Um, uh, I hope you kind of understand that, but I think I did get through all the messages and uh, it really did mean a lot to me. It was such a such a Christmas gift to receive just before, what, two days before Christmas. So thank you every single one of you for taking the time to leave uh, a message in that last video. So that is it, folks. That is it. So as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this amazing gift that Ellen received or Ellen gave me at Christmas and uh, yeah I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then I'll see you soon bye bye